G'day, it's a late afternoon session today. Um, I'm not used to this running out in the daylight. Normally I'm running out in the dark early morning, but today the wind is beautiful this afternoon. Have a look at this. Just light offshores, so I'm gonna have a look. What I'm doing now is I'm using my side scan. I haven't really used it much. Um, I've got to get used to using it a bit more. You can already see there, see the ripples on the sand? So that tells me I'm out on the sand. Um, what I'm gonna do is just follow the back of this contour here and just have a bit of a look around and see if I can find, um, basically I'm just looking for bait. I'm just looking for a good fixed school of bait and then when I find that, I'll pull up. So first things first, I've got to head back in close to the reef because I can see I'm plainly out on the sand by all these ripples on the side scan here. So I'll pull in a bit closer to the reef and see if I can't find some bait. Because generally the bait won't be hanging out here on the sand out in the open, it'll be in a bit closer tucked in. So those shadows, I'm not sure what these shadows indicate here. There's some dots here and some shadows there. I don't know if that's got to do with that there. Is that a fish? A little bit unsure. I haven't really had much to do with side scan. It's just a matter of probably just playing with it a bit, getting a feel for it. All right, you can see now it's starting to come on to some rocky stuff off on the right hand side here, which is where I expect it. Still on the sand on the left hand side. Rocky stuff on the right. So now I'm just going to cruise this edge and see if I can't find some bait. So this is pretty cool. You can see how it's sort of broken ground. You can see the sand and the rocks on that side and just plain sand on that side. But you can see the ripply sand and the rocks on that side. And still no bait, but I'll just keep cruising until I find it. Okay, here's something. So there's a little bit of fluff hanging on the top of that. That's a little bit of bait. Hard to see here because all I'm getting shadows on the bottom here. Um, that's holding really close to probably down that, that rock there. So I'm probably looking, I think midwater bait would probably stand out a bit better on the side scan stuff. On the bottom it's probably going to be a bit harder to define. Keep cruising. There may be some nice... Bait on the bottom's okay, but I'd be happy if I found a big school of midwater bait. That's probably more what I'm sort of searching for here. Keep looking. I've got heaps of time. Well, I've got an hour or so till the sun goes down, so I've got a bit of time. Keep looking until I find what I want. There's no point fishing where the fish aren't. Uh, a lot of bait holding on the bottom here. Uh, that's my anchor going down, but there's a lot of bait holding on the bottom. Again, the side scan, I don't know, it's not really hard. Pretty hard to define what's going on there, but I've dropped the anchor. I'm going to fish here. Bait's what I was looking for. It's a lot of low level bait. Kind of odd, but anyway. There's a better picture of it right there. So there's a lot of bait holding on the bottom. You can see where my anchor's dropped down there. Now I'll just wait for the rope to pull tight. A lot of stuff on the bottom. Cool. Let's get fishing. First things first, I've got a paddle prawn. Um, I just dipped it in some um, catch scent there. Got these new prawno heads from Snapbait with the Helco paddle prawn on there. So I'm going to just whack this out while I'm getting my baits and stuff organised. Just ping that out. I'm in 14 metres here, so I'm aiming to cast about 14, 15 metres out and then just let that gently swim its way down. Get a bait out this side. Alright, there you go. Half a scaly. That's a that's an 80 owner SSW. I've got a 30 pound leader, 20 pound main line. Let's ping that out there. Now some of these muleys here, I'm just gonna chop these up. I have got one of those stinky burly logs in my pot there. You know the little burly logs that sort of self disperse but I'm also going to throw some cubes out as well for good luck. Why not? I'm going to swap out my little prawno combo here. I've nearly lost it to the bottom three casts in a row now. Um, I've managed to get it back but the bottom seems pretty hectic here so I'm going to cut that off and stick a hook on I think. Um, something that I'll be able to, it'll um, stay mid-water, it's not going to sink straight to the bottom and get snagged every cast like that is um, this will be a much slower much slower descent here we go 
Oh, oh, that was a good hit. Is it still there? Is it still there? It's still there. Yep. Fish. Oh, and he's off. Dropped it. It's baited me. Oh. Oh, there's a whale over there. Sick. Oh, there's two of them. Nuts. That's pretty cool. Oh. Oh, don't tell me. Oh, you can't be serious. That didn't hook up. Oh. That's two now. Scotty, what happened there? Oh, there's that whale. Nuts. I feel like I've still got a bit of bait on here. Go, come on, eat it, eat it, eat it. Eat it. Something's having a look. It's a cuba herring, but it's a circle hook, so I'm gonna get, let it hook itself. Oh, am I gonna let it hook itself? Am I? No. Nah. It's still there. Oh, it's eating. It's nibbling, nibbling, nibbling. All right, now it's committed. Oh, now it's back off again. Oh, the hook didn't go in it. Oh, Scott. That's three now. I'm gonna leave that because that feels like there's still bait on that. Oh, I'm not a fan of circle hooks. I think I've said it before, I've been using them. I'm not a hundred percent. I'm not a hundred percent sure they just suit my style of fishing. Go. Come on, hook yourself this time. Yeah, this time I got him. <laughs> I wasn't picking that up. I wasn't picking that up until I saw it go this time. I had to give him some time to swallow it down. Here we go, this will be a snapper. I don't think it's huge, huge. It's respectable. Wow, I can't believe I've had three hits and dropped three fish. I'm not sure if I got one of them. I think the camera was playing games on me before. I'm not sure if I got that one. Oh, he's all right. I haven't seen him yet, but he's, he's putting in like he's a decent size. Snapper are pretty simple, we just let them do a few runs. They're pretty clean fighters. Oh, I reckon I can just point this guy. Oh, and that hook just came straight out of him there. Spiky boy, stop, stop. There you go, 52 centimetres he is. Oh, and I'm in on this ride. Oh, that's a better one. Is it a better one or is it just this rod's a bit, the 15 pounds 
15 pounds lit up now. <laughs> Funnily enough, there was a boat that was fishing just over from me a minute ago and they just left just as the bite started to turn on. Maybe they're scared of the dark or don't have lights on their boat. But this is the time when you want to be fishing. That snapper was 52 centimeters. He's perfect, he's my dinner. This guy's probably around about the same size, maybe a little bit smaller, I think, this one. I'm happy I got the guy I came for anyway. There he goes, another small boy. Don't flick around and don't spike me and we'll be friends here. There you go. He's probably just under this guy. I'll get him back as soon as I can. He's probably just under. Off you pop. All right, get another bait back in because I want to get a big one. Here we go. Oh, you're joking. Is that another dropped fish? No, he's still there. Wow. Well, this one feels good. The old 15 pound is a little bit A little bit under sometimes, but it's okay. Gets the job done. It feels like a decent fish. Just another one of those medium sized ones again. He's under, he can go back. Oh, I'm getting out of here. Got the fish I came for, got my dinner. Um, got a couple of other small ones. Didn't get the big one I was after, but it doesn't really matter because have a look at this. What an afternoon on a Saturday Arvo. You just can't beat that. Um, absolutely amazing conditions. Love autumn. If you like our videos, stay tuned and I'll see you guys all in the next episode. Thanks for watching. You.